the world's responsibility. There is a lack of responsibility in the world. And the reason for that is because it's easier to say, I don't want to get involved. I don't want this to hurt. I don't want this to cost me. It doesn't affect me. It's got nothing to do with me. The world is going crazy. On television you see unspeakable horrors perpetrated by a group of people who claim that they speak in the name of God. They shoot people for no reason. Cut off their heads. I noticed in Wikipedia that in 1983 in Iran eight young children were killed because they didn't believe in Islam. Now you Muslims out there must think that this is great. This is a proof that Islam is the superior religion. That's what the Nazis thought. In fact, that's what the communists thought after World War II before 1990. Every tyrant believes and is sick because he thinks that just because he has power that he's right. Might does not make right. Killing people is evil unless that person is a threat to the well-being of the community. When it comes to religion, today, according to Jewish law, even if the Mashiach would come, it would take a while until death penalties could be instituted for certain religious behavior. Until that happens, there is no death penalty. How come? And this is talking about even when Jews would be in charge, religious Jews would be in charge. And the answer is that unless something is self-evident and manifest, we have no right to impose our views to somebody else. And in fact, according to Jewish law, other people are allowed to believe different from us. The only exclusion is that if we have control, we're not supposed to allow people to worship wood and stone, idols that make no sense. But Shituf, believing that God has got partners, believing that God has got assistance, is permitted for the Gentile. We don't need the Gentile to believe what we believe in, in order to feel good, in order to have a safe society. We need to get rid of superstition. We need to get rid of people or beliefs that you can hear God's voice and go out and kill people. Essentially, we need a civilized approach to other people even when you're very religious. Among Orthodox Jews, extreme, ultra-Orthodox, violent people are looked down at. Because that's not the way you spread your religion. You don't spread your religion with a stick. People don't believe at the edge of a sword. They may be too frightened to say differently but they won't believe what you believe. Islam has no ideology, no compelling logic, no proof of its truths. If they did, they wouldn't have to do what they're doing. They would just have to teach. You know, I had 29 videos, I guess 29, at least a couple of dozen videos 
on the Quran, the first 29 chapters, surahs. I didn't get a single answer to any of my questions. But I got a couple of threats for my Islamic cousins, my Arab cousins. Is this what Abraham had in mind when he taught the world about one God? That if you don't believe in one, I believe, I'll kill you. I'll take a sword and chop your head off. Is that what he did to the angels that came? Is that what he said to God when God wanted to kill the people of Sodom and Amorah? Instead, Abraham, Ibrahim, prayed on their behalf that maybe something could be done. Maybe I could influence them. When religion needs violence to support itself, it's not a religion. It's just a bunch of thugs. Evil thugs. And so I appeal to my Islamic cousins. Look at it realistically. See it what it really is. These are people who have no basis for their faith, for their beliefs. Because if they could prove it, they wouldn't need to kill anybody. The fact that they're so violent only shows you just how evil and depraved they are.